On this issue of Kitchen Science, we explore the physics of flying objects. What's happening today, Mr. Otherford? Oh, you've found a sheet of writing paper. Look at that, it flies like an aeroplane. If you want to make yourself one of those, you'll need a ping pong ball and a straw. Get the end of the straw vertical, hold the ball over the end, start blowing and let go. Blowing through the straw should keep it in the air, but it should also stay there if you hold it at an angle. Why don't you try something more powerful? That's a cone and that's... A hairdryer? Well, that's really quite impressive. When you blow across the paper, you create a stream of air. Air is dragged away from the gap between the paper and the stream of air, creating a vacuum. This pulls the stream of air towards the paper and the paper towards the stream of air. So the paper lifts up. With the ping-pong ball, the air piles into the bottom of the ball and pushes it upwards. When it falls off, the air sticks to the surface, as it does with the paper, and so is pushed to the right with the ball. So the ball is pushed to the left, back onto the airstream. This is the Coanda effect, and is also responsible for keeping planes in the air. Thank you, Dr. Otherford.